Daytona big boy, come here. Oh, Let me give it to you, oh, big boy. Oh, what's going on fam? Welcome to another adventure with your boy Omar. Today I'm at Gatorland Orlando. Got my friend Savannah here. Also got Ireland Boys Productions. Yee -yee. Savannah is a gator slash crocodile specialist. There are other employees working, but she's gonna kind of sneak us in, give us a tour of the place. We're gonna get to feed gators. Possums, raccoons, pigs, alligators, crocodiles, snakes, everything that is terrifying roams this park at night. It's really dark in there, and we're gonna get to see this. So are you. Let's do this. can see here this place is legit closed this definitely beats the front entrance if you see a snake or if you find a snake or something like that just tell me I'll catch it for you and get it out of the way don't get scared there's lots of pygmy rattlesnakes here and there's lots wait, of wait like wild yeah can you see it I see eyes yeah that's a big crocodile right there whoa <laughs> thought he was real I was standing in the back and I was like, Whoa! Oh, shoot! Whoa! Look at all of them. Look at all of them. Those are all gators. All those eyes are gators. Look right there. Shine it on, bro. Oh, look. Shine them, Nick. Whoa. Look at that. Look at all those glowing eyes. Yo, that's crazy. Those are all gators. Dang, their eyes look so cool. There is a chance that we might not make it out alive. Look at all those eyes. Whoa. What the heck? Can we get over there? Look at all those eyes glowing. Those are all gators. <laughs> no. That's crazy. I don't know if you know this, but Gatorland was founded in between two swamps. So there's a lot of wildlife in between that we might run into. I mean, yeah, forget the gators and stuff. We might like run into a coyote, rattlesnake, you know, who knows? Raccoons. It's kind of trippy. Party in this? I like to pretend like it is. It's all good. It's like a play area. Yeah. For kids. It basically dries you off when you get wet just in case you fall into the gator pit. But it's like a rave in here, so we're gonna have a little. Whoa! Whoa. It keeps going off. So we're gonna go in the breeding marsh now. That's where all the big alligators are. It's a really big marsh. It's all natural Florida. They have lots of space. They have lots of room. And there's tons of them. See look. See them all? Oh wow. All those glowing eyes you guys see right there are gators. Oh, that's Buddy. Oh, shoot. Hang on. Oh, there's a big one right down there. That's Buddy. Oh, that's Buddy? We're going to feed a few gators right now. And then in a little bit, me and the Ireland boys are just going to we're gonna split up. Like, be on our own. Kind of go exploring the park. Up, up. Can you smile? Can you smile, Buddy? Oh, Come God. On, bud. He's huge. Smile for me, Buddy. Good boy. Smile. Buddy, smile. Savannah the Savage. Savannah the Savage. Oh! oh. <laughs> he almost ate my camera. Good job, buddy. Good boy. Ricky's got his <laughs> night shot on his camera right now. Let me try to zoom in. Yeah, can you see it? Try to get that. That's sick. Oh, dude, that is so awesome. There's like hundreds. We have right here some liver and some heart and some butt cheek. <laughs> and who oh, knows yeah. what else? Here, do you want a glove? Dude, that's a nice oh, flaming yawn. Can I feed one? Yeah. Oh, Omar's cool. gonna feed the gator. The other alligators come over near Buddy. Buddy's gonna get in a fight with them. He's Omar. gonna eat them? Yeah. Buddy! Whoa! Oh, shoot, dude. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh dang. 
Oh, oh, alligators yeah. like it's smelling. One. Got the first one, no more. Here you want Make a, a piece? big splash. Oh, oh, that was kind of a fail. Oh my now god, it though. Oh, here they. Oh, look oh. at them. Oh, dude. Oh, they're bad. coming. There oh. they go. Oh my. Look at them all. Don't feed alligators at 3 a.m. Ah, <laughs> this is what happens. Dude, what? So look how many. Who wants to go for a swim? Floor's lava. If you guys, oh no way! If you guys go in this water, you're on your own. Yeah. Look at this one. Anybody want this? Woo! Oh! oh. Big boy. <laughs> that one. Is that buddy? Oh! That's buddy. There's no way. Or no. Oh yeah, dude. Or no. Chest no. No, no. I think that might be Buster. Buster and Buddy. Is Buddy just? Ooh. Oh. Ho -ho. Yeah. No, bro, they're right under Dude, you. they're right under, guys. If we fall in, look at the little guys just riding on top of everything. I know, he is. He doesn't even know what to do. <laughs> Dude, look at little guy. Oh, this is insane, bro. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what the heck? Right there, right in the middle, right there. Right Dude, there. there's like a hundred yeah, alligators right here. Three, two, go, one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Buddy up. Savannah the Savage. That's such a name, yeah. That's the name. Oh, listen to that hissing. Up, up. Up. Guys, hashtag Savannah the Savage. Oh, he caught it. <laughs> That's Craftsman. 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 <laughs> you know all of these guys by name? Not all of them, only the special ones. The special ones? That's Craftsman. Oh. Give me keys. So one thing that Savannah does is she gets these crocodiles and gators moving around. She does like exercises with them. Sometimes they get a little bit lazy because some of them are here, you know, they're being fed, so they don't really have to go hunt their food. All the crocodiles have their own ball, and sometimes we put the ball in the water, and they can bat it around and try to catch it and things like that. And we sometimes go in with them and let them chase us. It's a game we call Don't Get Bit. So we let them chase us. Are we going to play that today? Um, I don't know. I think we are, actually. Okay. No matter what you heard about zigzagging, like they tell you zigzag if an alligator's chasing you, don't do that. Run as fast as you can in, in a straight line. line. If somebody is behind you and you trip that person, that person will get eaten before you do. Oh, there's a nest right there. Yeah. So what the alligators will sometimes do is they'll whack their tails on the trees here and try to get some of the babies out of the nest and eat them. Oh, there's some babies right here. Look, look, look. Look at the little babies, how cute. Oh wow. Hi little babies. <laughs> Future alligator food. So that's an alligator nest and that's a mama alligator. Oh my gosh. Dude, if she's laying eggs right now, we're like the luckiest people in the world. Is she laying eggs? I don't know, just watch her for a second. I see a cavity right there that she just built. So we have to watch her belly and see if it contracts. If it does, she's laying right in front of us. No way. Yeah, how do you Alright guys, if you've never seen an alligator give birth, <laughs> here's your chance right now. About to go right down there right now and give her a kiss. One thing that you guys probably don't even know is that some of the gators that are here at Gatorland are actually rescues, even some of the crocs. And, and there's even other animals too, bobcats. Yeah, they've been rescued. There's some people that will take some of these alligators in illegally, and I'll show you some of them and they can no longer take care of them. And Gatorland gets them in and takes care of them for the rest of their life. This is the only bit of light going on right here. Anybody want a drink? Okay, I'm just kidding. I didn't know this until today. There's Cuban crocodiles, and they're supposed to be like one of the smartest Ricardo. breeds of Ricardo. crocodile ever. So why is the name Ricardo? I think it's a healthy Cuban name. Yeah. Chiquita. Ooh. Ricardo, here! Oh, yeah! Yummy. Cuban crocodiles can jump six feet from the flat ground. That's six crazy. feet? Six feet from the flat ground. They can catch birds out of the sky. There are these big rats that live in the trees in Cuba, and I can't remember their names right now, but if one Cuban crocodile can't jump high enough to get the rat, 
another one will come and they'll stack up so that the top one can jump and get it. All right, we just wrapped up the Cuban crocodiles. We're gonna meet back up in a little bit and we're gonna go with Savannah and play this like dangerous game of, what's it called again? Don't get bit. Don't get bit. And we're gonna climb over the fence and get closer to gators. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. Maybe you are, so make sure you stick to the end of this video so then you watch that. Check out the Ireland boys because they're gonna be putting together a completely different video. They're going off their separate ways as well as me and Savannah. I am so lucky right now that I have the crocodile trainer expert here with me walking around. She was feeling bad. I was actually gonna walk by myself, but it's cool because you know if we see like a rattlesnake or something, she'll know what to do. She'll be able to like grab it by its neck and pet it maybe give it a kiss have you ever kissed a rattlesnake uh you know what i try not to kiss snakes in general i don't really like to do that but it what i don't know <laughs> what was it uh, <laughs> there's lots of crazy stuff out here at night okay there, there was an alligator that hissed at me right now I think oh it was. yeah the animals usually don't have anything to interact with at nighttime because you know they live here every now and then a rabbit might run in and out which is cool for them but tonight is so exciting for them to have all this stimulation at one time so tomorrow they're probably going to be like dead tired like phew i don't know what happened last night but so this is good for them they are getting their exercise this is the oldest alligator here how old is pops again pops is about 80 years old and he's been here old. ever since the beginning of Gatorland. Can which was crocodile right there Oh, there's a croc down there? Yeah, there's an American crocodile and then there's Pops. Pops, look up here. Open up, Pops. <laughs> Open up. Savannah's Come on. crazy. Come on, Pops. Let's see. Uh oh, Yummy. Pops missed it. So Pops is a movie star. That's why he lives back here by himself with these two American crocodiles. There's another one in here somewhere. I can't see it right now. Pops up. So he's been in movies before. Pops has been in movies. He, um, they actually did the red carpet event for the movie Lake Placid here about the big alligator. Was he and the big alligator? He was not the big alligator. I think it was an animatronic alligator, but they kind of modeled him after Pops. And, really? Um, they actually came and mic'd Pops and used his vocalizations for the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. Of course, they, you know, filtered them and did whatever they do, movie magic, but, uh, the initial part of it, the growls, the roars, uh, all of those noises were pops. <laughs> that was him? Yeah. The sounds that you guys heard in Jurassic Park originated from pops. How cool is that? Give me kiss, pops. <laughs> Give me kiss. Okay, pops. Oh. La Good alligator, kiss. la alligator <laughs> wants to bite my head off. If I don't feed him, if I don't feed him, he's gonna bite something else off. I just made that up. That was a great song. Thanks. Dundee, where are you? Is Dundee your biggest croc? Yeah. Biggest favorite croc. What are you doing? He looks so crazy though at night, like the devil. Why are you going over there though? Because I'm looking for him. You're crazy. Dundee! Oh, there he goes. Oh! Oh yeah, he's big. Oh, Dundee is the biggest reptile here at Gatorland. How big is he again? He's about 14 feet long. 14 Look at feet. Look at his face. Oh my gosh. He's my favorite, but he's so terrifying at night. I cannot believe I'm doing this. <laughs> oh, what? Are they both coming or just come? He's getting through the fence. There you go. Ooh. Oh, gnarly. Hi, Dundee. Boy, you're dirty, huh? Look at his eyes. Throw him a piece of food. Go for it. Oh, oh. oh, you got a mouthful of dirt. Spit it out. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. That's so crazy. Can he like swallow one of us? Um, he could not swallow us, but we wouldn't stand a chance. Like there's no way, there's no escape from him. That's a man eater. That's a saltwater croc? Saltwater crocodile. 
oh from Papua New Guinea. He's gonna show you his teeth. Ooh, what a pretty boy you are. Look at that face. <laughs> Ooh. That's scary. He's kind of hissing. Uh, it's that's how he talks. Oh, he's talking? Yeah. Dundee. I don't think he knows what I am. I mean, I think he knows I bring food, but I don't think he knows that I'm a human or I don't know what he thinks. You're a buffet table to but him. We, <laughs> <laughs> but we 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 have like face-offs because this is the closest you could come to a crocodile without getting killed. Hey, look, his girlfriend's coming. Is that your girlfriend? Do you know how much he wants to eat us right now? You think like, so? Oh gosh! Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Probably not supposed to do this at Gatorland. No, never. What is that? Come here. What are you? Oh, it's a little wabbit. Squee wabbit. <laughs> that alligator food right there. Do alligators eat rabbits? They will if they go in the wrong spot. Oh, I sure would love a slushy right now. I am all by myself right now. I just lost Savannah. Kind of scared, not gonna lie. Alone, alligators, possums, raccoons, snakes, cockroaches. Hey! Been looking all over for you. <laughs> Did you have fun by yourself? Uh, not really. I was kind of scared. Were you? Uh, a little bit. Don't you have a knife? Um, no. Oh. You don't carry a knife? No. How do you live? I walk around with Savannah. <laughs> the savage. Just came across something pretty awesome. I think one of their pythons may have gotten out. Hi, little baby. Want to give me a kiss? One thing that you shouldn't do when it comes to these snakes is try to get them from behind. You always want to go from the front and them by the head. <laughs> it's not real. And do not grab a snake from the front. Grab them from the back. Hey, what is that up there? Is that a bridge? Yeah, if you would have gone on the other zip line, you get to walk across that bridge. And then when you get to this zip line, you get to race. Like if you and I went through the whole zip line course at this end, we would race each other. Oh, end. that's so cool. Yeah, at the same time we would zip. If you like zip lining, come to Gatorland. What is this? Oh, you could even put the baby crocs with the baby alligators? When they're this small, yes. When they get bigger, probably not. That's a Nile crocodile. Neato. So Look cute. Look how he's standing up. All proud. <laughs> <laughs> I want one. Aren't they cute? So people get these as pets. No, they should never. That's what happened to Daytona, exactly. Someone got him as a pet, then he got too big, and they realized they couldn't take care of him, and uh, then he had to come live with us. And it's illegal, too, so. Yeah. And it's illegal to feed alligators in the it wild. It is. But you can come to Gatorland, and you can feed them just like you did when you were here last time. Oh, yeah. And that was fun. We're going to get to meet Daytona a little bit later. There's an alligator that's up here that they rescued from Tampa, Really interesting story. He used to eat dogs. Yes, a dog eating alligator. He is massive. He's actually all by himself because he doesn't get along with other gators. He's about 13 and 3 fourths feet long, so almost 14 feet. Someone over in Tampa was feeding him. And as people would go down to the water to feed them, eventually they brought their dogs with them. So Chester ended up eating not one, but two dogs and perhaps more. Because oh once you feed a wild alligator, it thinks that a human is a source of food. So it doesn't matter if you're coming down there to feed it, or if you're coming down there to walk your dog, it thinks you're bringing it food. So they were going to kill Chester. We went and saved Chester's life, because we like to use that as a good learning experience for people. And teach them not to feed wild alligators, but you can always come feed them at Gatorland. If this is your first visit through me at Gatorland, just want to give you an idea of what it looks like. 
during the day, we are here. Because it says, y'all are here. And that first place that we were at, over here, they're about to eat some little kids. Wait, they got white alligators? Uh-huh. Yeah. We have four. Four white oh, alligators. We have five. Actually, no. We have seven. <laughs> seven. Seven. So this is Trezos. Trezos is leucistic. That's different from albino. It's a lot more rare. There are only 14 in the world. Trezos has blue eyes. Then this is Pearl. Over here napping. Pearl is an albino. And this big guy right here is Jaquan. Whoa. And Jaquan is leucistic. He has blue eyes. He's really pretty. And this one in here is Pharos. Pharos. Pharos is probably the biggest <laughs> leucistic alligator anywhere. And Pharos is very grumpy. And Jaquan is very shy. And Trezos is really friendly. Now these guys wouldn't survive in the wild, would they? Absolutely not. They can't be in direct sunlight, then they'll get sunburned. Also, when they were younger, if they would have stayed in the wild, they would have been picked off by birds. They don't have any camouflage. They wouldn't have done very well at all, and they probably all would have died. They were all found in Louisiana, and they were at a different place, and then they came to us when that place closed down. So we took them in, and they live in here in our white gator swamp, and we bring them out, and we let them walk around do different activities. Sometimes we take them down that way. Sometimes we bring them through this way. So they get different smells. They get different interaction. They get different kinds of exercise. They all have their own different personalities and they're really cool. Which one's your favorite? Um, I like Trezos a lot. <laughs> Trezos is probably the friendliest of them all. Uh, Jaquan is really shy. Pharos is Ferocious. I've known Pearl since Pearl was a baby. Oh, she was probably a really cute baby. Yeah, huh? she is an adorable baby. Pearl! Oh, she's coming. So I've known Pearl since she was so little I could hold her in my hand. Aw, how old is she? Uh, I'm not quite sure how old she is. But she's a superstar. Like, anytime we ever make a video of Pearl, like, it goes crazy. Everybody loves Pearl, yeah. She's beautiful. She is beautiful. So she's like a legit albino. If you've never seen one, there it is, right there, right in front of us. And her name is Pearl. And she's famous. Yo, it's so dark out there. I know, right? If you guys see anything, any ghosts walking around, let me know. The guy who started Gatorland, his name's Owen. And I've heard that he's been seen walking at nighttime by some of the employees. That's a Florida snake, isn't it? Mm-hmm. That's a cottonmouth. Okay. If you guys see one of these in Florida, don't, don't put it. your finger this close to it. <laughs> don't try to scratch and sniff. How you doing? That's a baby one. So they look a little bit different when they're smaller. Just met up back with the Ireland boys. We're about to do some more feeding. We're going to feed this giant crocodile, too. What's the best way to go over? Jump. Okay. We're gonna jump over this fence right here to get closer to the gators. The gates closer flooded. to death. You can't go through the gates. What's that? The gates flooded. You can't go through the gates. Oh, the gates flooded. Yeah. You get a lot of rain. Oh god. The van is over. Hey, savage. This is scary. Rohan, you going next? This is low-key sketch. We're gonna be so close, dude. <sighs> They're coming. We're gonna turn it around. Oh gosh. Yo. Hi guys. Hi. Daytona, big boy. Come here. Oh, dude. Let me give it to you. Oh, big boy. Oh gosh. Daytona was one of your Daytona like rescues. Rescue. Yeah. Actually, Daytona was actually a pet that someone had in their house. And in their house? In their house in Florida. What the heck? Um, yeah, Dude, it's illegal. What the heck? <laughs> so Florida Wildlife Commission brought Daytona to us and he's doing much better. Do not climb the fence, Daytona, down. Oh gosh, down. there's more coming. Okay, Nick's coming, guys. Down. Bring it, hurry. Buddy, guys. cornered in. We just cornered ourselves in. We're dead. Don't worry, you need, you need to make it run. Ninja Nick, no, what about everyone else? Oh gosh, dude, they're so close to us. Yeah, they're gonna come pile up. They're very excited dude. right now. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. Oh. You hear that hissing? This is a sight for so the ages. This one is a caiman, right there. Is that an alligator or croc? Caiman. Caiman gator? It's just a caiman. Just it's called a caiman? It's its own thing, yeah. Oh, okay. 
You can see the difference between that. It, it's called a Cayman. See how he's got that those teeth down there? Where? That one's on top of it. Yeah, they're about to hop over, bro. Yeah, this is not good. This one's my favorite. Have Yo, watch the zombies. arm. Come here. Dude, they're like stacking up. Yo. Huh? Oh, no, she is. They're like stacking up, bro. Oh, oh gosh, look at this one. Oh! No, no, no. Oh! What happened? Oh! Look how close they're so here. close. I feel like they're just gonna leap over. Look how close this one is. That's a Cayman right there. Yeah, yeah. Back is off the Cayman. Cayman. Seriously. Shoot, shoot. Are you the Cayman? Oh, the Cayman will jump the fence. Oh, gosh. Who's oh, going back? <laughs> Bro. Oh, yo, yo, yo. Hurry, yo, I need to go back. I need to go back. Uh. So I do enrichment for these animals, and one of the games we do that helps them to exercise and run and try to catch things and hunt things, we play a game called Don't Get Bit. And then we go in, and then we let them chase us to one side. And then once we get to the one side, we bail and jump out of the fence and come around again, and we let them chase us back. It's really exciting for them to get to okay. hunt something because normally that we just feed them. So uh, I think they have a lot of fun with it. Sometimes they chase us all up into the rocks. Um, it's a it's a really great game. It's good for their enrichment as well as you guys being here tonight. Like they have no idea what's going on. This is the most exciting thing that's happened to them in a long time. So they're not bored. No, I appreciate you guys being <laughs> here. It's great. This is the closest I've ever been to. Yo, I could touch that thing. Like I feel a like big gator. Don't. I'm not look, going look to that one. <laughs> oh. Yo, I'm gonna touch it. No. Uh, I'm a sad, dude. All right, guys, don't, dude, don't, don't. I'm doing it. I think it's gonna yeet, bro. It's gonna, it's gonna bro, eat your finger. No, 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 don't. No, don't. No, I'm a savage, dude. Ready, ready? ready? Go, no. Ready? Nate! Oh! <laughs> got it, oh, you got, got it, bro. <laughs> Ricky <laughs> Savage! Okay, his okay, finger is still not on. All right, if you really want to be a savage, touch his mouth. No, no all right, now, now I'm going back. <laughs> no mouth touch. All right. Can't believe we just did that. That was insane. <laughs> I was pretty scared, actually. The grumpiest crocodile at Gatorland. No one is ever in a constant bad mood ever here except for Morton. And uh, Morton is a saltwater crocodile. He comes from Australia and he's about 14 feet long. Ooh. And we have to be really careful feeding Morton because Morton's a little bit crazy. You can but jump, right? You guys come with me. So right now, Morton is in the position of ambush. See how close he is to the edge of the water, but you can't barely even see him? Yeah, mm -hmm. he's right there, guys. It's hard to see, but he's right. Right there. Martin? Oh! Let's yeah, go, Martin. This isn't even oh, dude, bro. Dude, dude. oh, he's coming. Oh, dude, dude, dude. He's coming. He's Come on, Martin. Leave. He's about to leave. Oh, my. You got it, buddy. <laughs> oh, my. Catch it. Dude. dude. Oh, he's looking right at me. Come on, Martin. Bro, he Yo, wants the out. merch. Dude. Come Yo, on, Martin. My shirt if you wanted that Up. Bad, dude. This is scary. It is. Uh, Look at those teeth, man. Martin. He's getting ready. You probably can't tell on camera, but he's over. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> he wants it. He's playing a game right now. Yep. Oh. He does that sometimes to try to get me to lower the meat oh, no, so that he care. doesn't have to exercise. Mm. So it's my job to get him to do what he's, what's good for his body. Oh, oh yeah. See, it's always a game. Okay fam, I know you've never seen a 3 a.m. challenge quite like this. I will leave social links up for Gatorland. Make sure to give them a holler. Make sure to tell them that the Ireland boys, as well as Omar, sent you if you do come for a visit. The Yee fam. Hey, the <laughs> Yee fam, we out here. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Before you leave though, give me a kiss. Peace. <laughs>